Here we are. Welcome to Pro Wrestling with TNT. It's the 11th of September. We are ready to roll here once again. Our third uh, screening. Excited to be back. Had a lot of feedback on the last ones. It's been awesome to uh, interact with some new fans. Uh, also get in contact with some old friends and whatever. Uh, you know, a lot of hype going on uh, over, over the last week, which we're going to get into soon. Want to make an announcement for uh, AWF Legacy. Uh, new date, Friday the 5th of November. It's taken place. Uh, Blacktown Bowman Hall is the venue. Tickets on sale now. AWFwrestling.com.au uh, You know, the card's uh, set to hopefully stay pretty much the same as, as what was previously announced. Uh, so stay tuned there uh, for the AWF website if there are going to be any changes. Uh, but it's going to be a great uh, event nonetheless. Please get your tickets, awfwrestling.com.au. People are going to be excited to get out of lockdown. Uh, the event will be, uh, you know, just from head to toe great. It's going to be seven matches. Myself taking on Mad Max Ramirez. That's going to be a, a cracker of a match, I can tell you that. Um, I know that there's going to be a, a, a tag team title match, Darkness and Eternity taking on Viral Productions, that's going to be heated. There'll be a whole uh, women's uh, contenders match, Nikki Petit versus Kobe Star was scheduled. There's going to be a whole bunch of uh, announcements, you know, uh, some, some more matches with uh, the cartel taking on the Detonation crew and, and, and a big, big undercard. So please uh, support the uh, Australian Wrestling Federation, get online, get your tickets at abfwrestling.com.au. Uh, you will need to be double vaxxed uh, if you're an adult. Uh, children under 16 won't need to be, but that's going to be a hell of a night. People are going to be excited to be getting back out and, uh, and about and a return to, to live pro wrestling events. So please come and support that one uh, if in Sydney. Spread the word, please, uh, and, and get on, it, on the website. There'll be limited seating. It will be uh, space seating. I believe the four meter square rule will be enforced uh, and, and masks will be necessary. But uh, nonetheless, we're going to have a, have a great uh, time. There's going to be lots of uh, action and uh, and the wrestlers are just going to be raring to get back in there so uh, yeah please join uh, the AWF on the 5th of November uh, for AWF Legacy when we'll uh, celebrate our 22nd uh, uh, wrestling anniversary and hopefully that one goes great and we can come back for a year and ext extravaganza in December uh, all things um, you know, being, being successful. So, uh, yeah, uh, tickets for that on sale, as I said. And, uh, you know, uh, AWF uh, Web Store, there's a new TNT shirt as well available. So thanks for your support of that so far. It's got uh, uh, a photo of myself on it with uh, the, the TNT sort of chaos logo in the background with SAR written down the bottom. So go to the uh, Australian Wrestling Federation uh, website. So awfwrestling.com.au uh, slash uh, shop and you'll be able to uh, check that t-shirt out along with a whole bunch of other AWF shirts, uh, Darkness and Eternity, The Outer World, Den Denonation Crew, and, uh, and more individual wrestlers soon. So thanks for your support of AWF. That's great. Uh, let's have a look at some of the international uh, action that's been going on. AEW has made a, a, a big impact the last few weeks. Um, you know, many new names have signed uh, and, and the big, uh, you know, premiere event uh, is uh, all out and that, that took place on the 5th of September. Uh, fantastic card, uh, lots of lots of action, lots of uh, surprises and excitement. Uh, the internet has been buzzing, so uh, yeah, great card. Uh, it, it kicked off. Uh, they had uh, it was Eddie Kingston uh, in, in the opening match. Um, he uh, put put in a good one against Miro. Those guys, uh, heavyweight uh, style match for the TNT title. Um, yep, excellent, excellent uh, opening match, and the, the crowd was into it. Uh, Miro still walking away the champion. Uh, then they went into uh, John Moxley uh, taking on uh, Satoshi Kojima from New Japan. They had a solid bout as well. Uh, in the end, um, yeah, it, it was Moxley uh, getting get the victory, and then uh, after after the match, um, there was uh, some more interference uh, or, or interjection um, from uh, from New Japan uh, and, and, and the set up for, for a future match uh, with uh, with Minori Suzuki uh, which which be uh, I believe would be on AEW TV this week or would have just happened so uh, yeah we, we might mention that one next week and, and get a chance to have a look at that um, but yeah great start to the ca uh, card the women's casino battle royal was uh, was eventful and uh, Ruby Soho made her AEW uh, debut as the wild card and it, in the end got rid of Thunder Rosa and, and was victorious so um, yeah establishing her as a, as a player in the women's division which is great um, then you, you know one of the best tag team matches I've ever seen 
uh, it was just tremendous. Cage match. Uh, when when they did the tournament, uh, as we mentioned last time, it looked like it was going to be a great uh, great match, and and you know all the Lucha Brothers versus Young Bucks matches for for actual excitement and, and action have really delivered. So. Um, yeah, I didn't doubt that this wasn't going to be great, but this was uh, off the charts. It just did so much exciting stuff with the cage. It was really heated. Um, the Bucks pulled out all the stop stops, you know. Uh, Tony Schiavone swearing in, in the match was quite, uh, um, you know, dropping the BS and, and saying that the Bucks were, were full of it. Um, that was quite uh, interesting. So there, there's... Uh, you know, but more adult themes going on there in AEW once again, which is which is cool for adult wrestling audience. Uh, very interesting. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed the match thoroughly. They they had a uh, a gimmicked up uh, Nike Air shoe uh, with, with thumbtacks in the bottom of it, which uh, they really put the heat on on the Lucha Brothers uh, get, getting the super kicks there and and. Uh, you know, ripping the masks of the of the Lucha Brothers, but uh, Phoenix uh, made a made a big comeback. He came off the top of the cage with a big cross body, uh, and in the end, uh, they they did the, uh, the 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 pile driver and uh, sort of stuff deal combination and got the win. Uh, fantastic action, hell of a response. The Lucha Brothers were well received afterwards. Uh, they celebrated. Uh, Penta had his uh, children out there, which is which was a nice moment, uh, and then. Uh, yeah, we got new new tag team champions, so so that should play a really good tag team division in AEW. Uh, so yeah, but more more good action headed uh, from there. You know, uh, moving on in the card, there was uh, MJF taking on Jericho in, in their a big sort of uh, blow off to their feud. Uh, the match uh, went along, and then it was uh, from memory, MJF uh, scoring with a baseball bat and. Uh, and then hit the, uh, hit the, 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 the Judas effect back fist, got a, got a, a pin, but the foot was on the rope. The referee Paul Turner was out there. They had um, uh, the match restarted and then uh, Jericho got the, uh, the walls of Jericho and, and got the tap out and, and, and the big win. Um, it, Waldo was out there for, for a moment as well. So yeah, a lot of action going on there and a, and a good climax to their feud, uh, Jericho, uh, and and MJF really worked it worked a good feud and and it, uh, it it paid off in the end and and should be interesting to see where both those guys go from there, uh, and then it was the big uh, in ring return of, of CM Punk so a lot of people online and just uh, you know even people that I know have mentioned it to me they're excited to see what CM Punk can do, uh, yeah he came back he 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 wrestled a, a fairly good match um you, you know I, I don't think it was ever going to live up to the expectation that some had for it but uh yeah those guys uh, you know went in their derby uh you know uh you know threw his body around um you know they they, they did a big uh, dive on the floor um you know the, the, a big big scent on out there uh and then in the, in the end it was like the uh the, the poison runner deal and then into into the the, the gts uh, with with Punk getting the, uh, the 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 big win and people uh, being excited after the match, it was um, uh, a Sting came into the ring and, and faced off with Punk and 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 extended the hand, the little handshake. So maybe a a big uh, you know match down the line somewhere. So just planting the seeds there, I would I would imagine. So yeah, good good stuff there. The the, the crowd uh, in the end ate it up and um, yeah you, you know. Darby still looks good being in there with uh, with the returning Punk and and uh, he, he's off to the races uh, uh, for, for for future stuff. So um, you know once once that was all about uh, the the AEW Championship match. So it was uh, Christian Cage versus Kenny Omega, big uh, title match. Cage had previously uh, won the Impact Championship from Omega. So yeah, um, th these guys put on a good match. Um, it, it it you know went back and forth. There was a big uh, table double stomp on the outside under Kristen Cage, which kind of cut him a little bit, but that was really, really uh, interesting to see. Then, um, yeah, in the end, um, they they got back in there. Um, Amiga ended up hitting the one wing angel from the top rope, which was huge, and got the uh, the pinfall there. And uh, and then you know lots of um, sort of happenings after that. Uh, you, you know the. The elite were out there uh, towards the end, and and then they came in to, to attack Christian Cage, 
and then it, it was seeming that uh, Adam Cole uh, had come down and, and joined AEW after just leaving NXT uh, in the WWE umbrella and uh, fans thought oh hang on he's going to be against them and then he ended up embracing with his former uh, Mount Rushmore friends uh, and, and the elite and uh, took their side and, and then continued on uh, uh, with Christian and then it was uh, Daniel Bryan who, who came out and confronted uh, the elite and uh, to end the show and, and the excitement of the fans so uh, Daniel Bryan and um, you know, joining uh, AEW, big uh, big news in the in the wrestling world. Um, yeah, people people excited for that. Adam Cole, uh, hell of a wrestling talent. So should be uh, interesting to see him on, on the on the, the the mainstream national level after after being the top of NXT for for a long time. And uh, yeah, you know, people are excited for for AEW. A lot lot going on. Uh, also on the on the card there, just uh, uh, with the big show returned as well. So uh, he he took on Kitty Marshall. Um, it, you know that was what it was. It was just a uh, an you know glorified enhancement match, but uh, served his purpose. Put uh, big show back in the ring. He's one and zero in AEW, and yeah, a lot of momentum for AEW. They they go onto their uh, you know their TV this week, uh, and and it was Amiga facing off. With um, with Daniel Bryan or Bryan Danielson as he'll, he'll revert back to now, and uh, it ended up with uh, Bryan putting him in the uh, in the crossface yes lock uh, to to the enjoyment of the fans and uh, yeah AEW has got some momentum so exciting stuff there um, so so yeah check it out if you can shoot some comments um, you know my way if, if like many others have already do they ask I had a few friends ask whether I'd seen the show what did I think what did I think of the whole you know um, AEW versus WWE uh, situation now or, or for what it is so yeah I'd love to hear your comments um, and, and I'll, I'll try and get back to as many of you as I can um, moving on you know I saw uh, some uh, game changer wrestling they've been making waves as well so much going on in wrestling at the moment there was a, uh, a fantastic uh, event uh, that they held. Um, it was the Art of War Games. Uh, lots of action going on there. One of the craziest uh, cage matches you'll ever see, double cage. Uh, it was Team MB MDK versus uh, Team 440. So the, the, uh, the, the, the heels kind of were on the back foot to start with, with, with Effie coming in and, and cleaning house on Gregory Irons and 440. And, and then, um, yeah, the... the the match went on, it got wild, there's blood, there's the, the usual, um, you know, weapons, you know, the, the, the light tubes, tables, chairs, and, and the like. Um, the, there was a scaffold set on the outside, Atticus Koger and uh, Eddie Cologne uh, did a big pile driver through some glass out there, which was pretty, pretty nasty. Uh, as the competition went on, you know, it, it finally climaxed, I guess. Uh, Ricky Shane Page uh, got out there and locked the uh, the cage so uh, Nick Gage couldn't get in uh, towards the end. Uh, Gage ends up getting in, it gets crazy. Ricky Shane gets thrown off a scaffold uh, through a table and light tubes and, and whatever else was in there. Uh, and then uh, Gage finally got the pile driver for, for the win uh, for his team. Uh, Matt Justice did a big dive off the cage at one stage, which was quite impressive. He's a he's a great talent, huge guy. Um, he's he's one of the uh, the tag team champions uh, as the second crew, um, second gear uh, crew. Um, yeah, wild action, and then uh, post that uh, it was uh, Matt Cardona coming out with the uh, championship as a spinner belt, dressed up as like the uh, the Macho King. He called himself the the Macho King of the Death Matches. Cardona uh, made it made quite the impact, uh, you know, winning the championships in, in um, you know interesting fashion as we said last time. And now uh, he came out and challenged a clown uh, on one of the previous events. He he challenged uh, just one of the the merchandise stand guys. So um, yeah, he he's just you know doing a lot of uh, things to agitate the the, the audience and. He was dressed up like the Macho King Randy Savage on, on this one, and then uh, took on a on a, a local clown who was who was uh, obviously beaten up very very quickly. Then uh, G Raver and his crew of um, sort of uh, druids came out, 
they uh, made quite the entrance and it looked like something was going to go on and then underneath one of the uh, the Druid outfits was uh, was John Moxley to the to the huge pop of the, the crowd. He hit uh, two Paradigm Shift DDTs and then it was uh, uh, a pinfall and uh, a new GCW champion uh, to the delight of the crowd. So, so much going on there. Um, you know, another inter-promotional um, angle so to speak with uh with, with you know moxley obviously with uh all elite wrestling and and showing up there uh and uh and winning the championship from cordona and then uh at the climax of the event um you know a huge, huge crowd that um for, for game changer wrestling as well one of the biggest it would have been over a thousand people there which was fantastic um yeah, uh, the King Nick Gage came out and, uh, and challenged him for a future match. Um, those guys, no strangers to each other, uh, have uh, faced off in the past in, in the CZW days and, and likely other deathmatch promotions. So, yeah, some big uh, big things happening for Game Changer Wrestling. Uh, on that card as well, there was a really cool, um, like a scramble match. I believe there would, there would have been about two or eight or so guys. I know Shane Mercer was throwing some guys around with, with ladders and, and, and the like. There was, uh, you know, a big finish with uh, uh, a, a flipping power bomb from a really high ladder. Uh, that saw um, uh, Mac uh, do, do, the, do the flip onto uh, Dante Leon and, and got, got the win. So. Um, yeah, Ninja Mac, what a crazy talent that guy is. He can flip and land on his feet from almost any position. So big, uh, big victory there. And, and another, uh, you know, winning, winning card there for Game Changer Wrestling. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep up to date with them. Anyone's got any comments about Game Changer Wrestling and, and, and likes them. I know, uh, my tag team partner, Whiskey Six has been, uh, checking out a few of the shows has mentioned Mance Warner and, and a few of these guys to me. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think. Any, any comments and we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll see what's going down with them. You know, elsewhere was in wrestling. You know, I, I checked out the show uh, Heels uh, on on Stars or on Stand here in, in Australia. Uh, I've seen the first three episodes. Uh, yeah, so that's a, a series about a, a family wrestling organization uh, in Duffy, Georgia. They've um, you know telling telling the insider stories of of life in pro wrestling. I suppose they've got a. Uh, a story where it's two brothers, um, Jack and Ace Spade. They uh, are, uh, you know, brothers of the of the regional uh, Duffy Wrestling League, and they are, um, yeah, they're telling their stories. They've got their um, uh, family lives. Uh, one of them has a girlfriend, Crystal, who's like the valet. Uh, that's that's Ace Spade. Jack has his wife and, and child to, to deal with, and the and the, the rigors of working a day job as well. And um, yeah, there's so many stories uh, being being told within it. You know, lots of characters. Um, uh, CM Punk debuted on the third episode as as uh, veteran wrestler Ricky Rabies, uh, journeyman style wrestler who um, who comes into the promotion. He he has uh, all kinds of shenanigans. He has his family with him, and uh, yeah, that's quite a quite a, an entrance. He's got like a, a possum that flies around. Uh, and and spurts blood all over um, Jack Spade uh, in in their match, and then there's the uh, the battles for who's going to be the main event and, and whatnot. Uh, Ace uh, is dealing with uh, perhaps the uh, fans turning against him, and him really wanting to be a baby face uh, in the story uh, to to you know carry on the lineage of his father who who passed away, who we found out in one of the episodes actually committed suicide, which is terrible. So uh, yeah, so many um, you know angles going on in the show uh, up to the third one. The, the fourth one should be out this week, so uh, we'll stay tuned with that. Uh, an interesting little series. Some of the c couple of nitpicks as a wrestler, you know, I, I watched it and I kind of thought like the the stressing of the script was a little bit like not really like wrestling. Like I'm sure there are storylines, whatever, but but uh, I don't think too many places are running around going you know quoting the the script. What's happening with the script this week and all this is kind of a bit Hollywood or a bit movie like so that was a little bit cringe worthy for, 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 for wrestling people but you know you know uh, for TV they're, they're trying to tell whatever story it is that they're telling and, and uh, yeah you know there there's um, you know things that you can see that they're gonna 
lead to and look forward to you know the struggle uh between ace and jack there, there's um ace is being scouted uh by well bill hancock who's uh, like a, a, a an agent type from you know, a former wrestler um kind of remind me a little bit of like michael ps hage hayes or something like that so um he's an interesting dude we've got um you know rooster who's is a bit jaded that he's been around for a long time and he's not in the main spot and there's some new guys that are, that are getting put up there and, and he should be the champion you know so um a few few uh insider baseball things in pro wrestling i guess um i can relate to a lot of the the, the stuff that goes on in the show um as far as you know just running a local promotion uh and and you know having to deal with a lot of things you know be it from production to trying to keep everybody happy to to you know organizing the the day-to-day -day, uh as well as the shows plus life with the you know i, I have uh, three sons so that's uh that's you know family life as well so yeah really really interesting show um got a little deal with uh with heels merch so uh we'll have some links in the description they got a bunch of cool heels merchandise they've got ricky Reby's t-shirts they got uh uh, sh uh shirt and jumper with heel written on it which is cool uh duffy wrestling federate or uh duffy R wrestling league uh, artwork t-shirt so one with georgia on it and just the, the logo so check them out uh support that uh that there, there's some cool stuff. Uh, like I said, there's a new uh, TNT SAR shirt at the um, AWF web, uh, website uh, uh, shop as well. So please uh, go and support that. Um, yeah, you know, lots going on in the world of wrestling. It's an exciting time. Fans are getting excited. So if you've got any questions about what's going on, um, you know, uh, the, the Pro Wrestling 500, annual PWA 500 came out this week. Uh, it's always a lot of controversy with that one. Um, yeah, uh, Kenny Omega got the number one spot, number two, uh, Roman Reigns, so, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of people have a lot to say about that, you know, it's just, you know, opinions and whatnot, uh, a bunch of Australians got included once again, which is fantastic to, to have the Australian, uh, you know, wrestling community acknowledged and, and some guys doing some great things in there, so, uh, should be pretty soon that uh, some of the uh, former WWE talents uh, start being able to wrestle on shows internationally again. So the Iconics, uh, Bronson Reed, Buddy Murphy. Um, yeah, hopefully they'll they'll be popping up on American events or international events, uh, perhaps Japan or, or MLW or, or one of the other major promotions soon. So. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, any inside scoops there, I'll, I'll let everybody know about that soon, uh, as, as, as well as it's authorized. Yeah, and lo lots going on. So, uh, yep, so uh, for that this week, I think that'll be uh, a, a good uh, way to sign off. Uh, lots of news coming up next week. You know, we'll, we'll have a look at uh, some of the New Japan things that have been happening. Uh, we'll uh, have a look at some more Australian stuff. Um, and uh, you know we'll, uh, we'll we'll stay tuned with the AEW and the, and the WWE stuff and, and of course the the updates from AWF with um, the the any card changes any things please get your tickets for for AWF Legacy it's going to be a hell of an event seven huge matches uh, blacked out everybody in that's a wrestling fan in Sydney should want to come out and, and enjoy themselves by this stage we'll have a full bar there'll be merchandise there'll be you know as much interaction as possible um, uh, under the conditions so um, yeah please uh, get your tickets tell your friends and family spread the word that's why I'm doing this uh, uh, you, you know extra bit of uh, you know, video for, for everybody just to get the word out about AWF more and Australian wrestling and, and, and my wrestling. So, yeah, please uh, support the Australian Wrestling Federation. Uh, and once again, I'm, I'm TNT for uh, Pro Wrestling with TNT. And, uh, yep, I look forward to, uh, to, to seeing you uh, really soon in person. And, and please uh, hit me up in the comments, subscribe, like, and share. And uh, we'll be here again soon for, for another episode of uh, Pro Wrestling with TNT. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Sa. Boom.